Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Elementary Mitch. And today's video, I have a very cool project, a STEM project for you and your students. It's a skier. And you know, you can talk about different concepts like force and motion and friction and gravity and how, you know, the kids having a lot of fun with this. So it's a foil skier. Um, you're going to need foil. You're going to need, um, most, you know, effective is going to be the large popsicle sticks and tape. And it's a very simple but very cool project for your students. Okay, guys, to make your foil skier, you're just going to take a piece of foil and it's up to you what size you make it. Obviously, the bigger the size, the taller the skier will be. But the one thing I do for my students, I guess it just depends on what age you have it. So like... For my kindergartners and first graders, I would do this for them already, is just make a cut up the side, up the middle here. This would be, I don't know, three or four inches. This will be the length of the legs, okay? So here's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna have my students take one end and just roll it. And I tell them, you know, if they want skinny legs to roll it really tight. And I tell them to stop when they get to that cut that I made. Okay, so there's there would be one leg and then I just tell them to flip it around and do it to the other side. And again, they're just rolling. I usually tell them do not uh, apply any pressure here because that cut that I made will tear. So I make them a promise. No, no pulling or tearing. We're just rolling at this point. Okay. And then they're going to roll the same way until they get to that cut. So there's the two legs and they should have all this foil here at the top. And so now to make the head, I tell them just, you know, take their hand and squeeze right here. And all the foil up here is going to make the head. And I tell them, you know, try not to make it all perfect. You know, they don't have to stress out about it being perfect. And so there's the head, and then I tell them just kind of push all of this foil in together so they have the body. And I tell them, you know, people's necks are usually skinnier than the head, so I tell them just press it in like that. And there we go. I, I definitely tell them do not pull the legs this way. Because if they do, the, their skier will basically rip in half. And there we have our skier's head and the two legs. I tell them to fit onto the skis. I tell them to kind of flatten out the feet. Again, not pulling on the legs. Okay. This will make attaching the, the skier to the skis a lot easier if the legs are flat. Or I'm sorry, the feet are flat. Okay. And then normally we, we could make the arms out of foil, but I was just realizing that my students were having a hard time wrapping it tight around that. So we would use a pipe cleaner instead. Okay. So for the arms, here's all I tell them to do. I say, try to find the middle of the skier. We don't want it too high. We don't want it too low. And I just tell them, hey, you know, when you wear a scarf, you kind of throw it around your, your neck. Well, the same thing here, but we're going to throw it around the body. So I would try to even this out as I can. And we're just going to have them wrap it around really tight so that it goes that way. And then I have them wrap this part around it. So it, and then definitely push in the body to make the, these arms stay as tight as we can. And I tell them they can, they can pull on the, the pipe cleaner so it stays, so it gets a little tighter. And there we go. Let's take a little better look at this. So there we have our skier's head, the arms, the legs. Now let's go ahead and put the skier onto the skis. Okay, it's definitely better if you use the wider 
popsicle sticks or craft sticks because the skier will just have a lot more surface to ski on. Okay, I usually encourage my students to help each other out because this is really hard to do all by yourself. Um, but what we're going to do is put the skis or the popsicle sticks like that. We're going to put these feet down in the middle and I tell them again, try not to have the legs too far apart because then it'll rip the skier. And then what we're going to do is just take some tape and wrap it around the foot going around the ski and then back around almost like a band-aid on a finger. Okay, so that's how this should look goes around the stick, around the foot, and let's do the other side. Okay, there you go. Both skis are on, and they're just going to learn, you know, to, if this thing is not balanced, to manipulate the foil so it stands up better. And, you know, my skier's leaning or kind of curved. It doesn't matter. You know, just kind of reinforce that it doesn't, we're not having a contest to see how good it looks. We just want this thing to be able to, you know, the sticks to be straight, have this thing be able to go down a hill. So the fun part is now I have this thing, you know, if it snows to see if this thing can actually go down a hill of snow. But if you don't have snow, you can have it go down a whiteboard or something that's just inclined. So you can talk about things like motion, gravity, friction for sure. Okay, the one thing you'll learn is the taller that the skier is, the harder it's going to be to balance. So I actually took this down. I basically made the center of gravity a lot lower, so this should, I guess, ski a lot better. Let's go test this out. Okay, it's a lot shorter. That was awesome.